I was just uh, mentioning to you about uh, this table. Uh, see the characters the in the column characters both of these columns are displayed which is not exactly right <laughs> okay so you know all through all of my programs in lesson I always uh, uh, want to concentrate on how the output is actually getting displayed because as I had already told you before uh, it is the output that your users will see okay and I'm also going to lay significant amount of emphasis on how you're going to write the program, not exactly, not only the correctness of the program. You know, the program has to be correct. Uh, that's almost known, but it also has to uh, look good and uh, feel good. Okay, more on that on different lessons. Yeah, I wanted to fix the output. So you just uh, fix the output by manipulating values you enter here. Okay, so uh, I agree, you know, but uh, there is certain amount of trial and error and trying out certain values and finding the best fit. So I just just tried out a few values and I found this percentage 5D and percentage 13D uh, will give a very good output for this program with this table. Okay, so you need to try out you know, when you're making your programs. Just make sure you try it a few times here and there, and uh, you know, get make sure the program looks good. So something like this. Um, okay, so you see the output is neatly formatted. Okay, so that's what I uh, mentioned that uh, output has to be neatly formatted. Okay, so uh, with this, um, I'm sort of uh, done with this character manipulation set of programs. Okay, you need to observe that, you know, whatever I have uh, taught in, in all of these lessons, it was all through programs. I haven't talked about any concepts at all. Uh, but from the next lesson, I'm going to talk about concepts. It's not that I'm going to uh, you know, totally not program or anything. Uh, I'm going to write programs and show you how to program continuously. But uh, I'm going to introduce certain lessons where I'm going to talk about uh, concepts, actual concepts in C programming uh, so that you also have certain amount of uh, theory as well. Okay, so so what I'm going to do from the next uh, lesson is uh, I'm also going to talk about concepts, again using small small programs to display the concepts. And in between, I'm going to uh, take up some um, large programs and uh, show you uh, the logic of large programs and how to do it. Uh, so I guess that's a uh, balanced approach. So if you have any common suggestions of how uh, this should go on, you fee feel free to write it on uh, write it on the comments, and uh, I would be more than happy to implement them. Okay. So with this, I'm done, and with the next lesson, we're going to uh, look a bit more of theory. Okay.